My name is Simon Hill. I'm from the United States of America. Hi, I'm Simon's wife, Akdeniz, and I'm from Turkey. And we're here on our second honeymoon in the Balkans, and we're here in Pristina, Kosovo. Today is Saturday. We've been here since last Sunday, and we'll be leaving the country tomorrow. We went sightseeing all over the city, and last night, we wanted to enjoy our last full night here in Pristina by going out to a few bars, getting a few drinks, and having fun and dancing. So the party scene, or like the environment, was very crowded, all types of people, tourists, uh, just out here and, you know, enjoying their night, drinking, partying, dancing. Last night, we came here to this place called Lulu's. No problem. Like most places in Pristina, we had a great time here. No issues, you know, service was nice. Also last night, we came into this place named Icon. Couldn't party because it was too packed, but still got in with no problem. When we went inside the club, we saw people that were very dressed up, like women in sexy, you know, clothes, men wearing suits and stuff like that. But, and we were just wearing casual stuff. Chic, I don't know, it, it, it looked like a, bougie place and we got in no problem of course the point she's trying to make we were able to get into this chic bougie place and we were dressed casual and if you want to know what we were wearing here are the pictures right now i know i know she looks very cute and i clean up pretty nice but towards the end of our bar hopping adventure, we decided to go to this place that we passed through before called Zanzi Bar here in Pristina, Kosovo. This is the place right here. So what you're about to see next is literally what happened 30 seconds after we showed up. The only part that's not in the video is when he said, uh, it's a bit early, but you can't get in because of his pants. You can get in, lady, but he can't get in, in reference to me. So I just went into Icon, no problem, but I can't go into Zanzibar. I can't go into Zanzibar wearing this. New outfits. I can't do this? I can't walk in? No, no. I can't walk Wait, in with this. what is the explanation? What's the explanation? No, no, no video, please. Why not? No. Nah. All right, well, everybody on my channel know that when you come to Zanzibar, they're racist as hell. You can't come in. Only white people allowed in. Shout out to Kosovo. This is Kosovo? This is Kosovo, people. Hey, shout out Kosovo. Hey, hey, no, we're not welcome. Apparently I can't get in because of this no, guy, right? Because, what's wrong with this? Are. No, but you tell me what's wrong with it. Hold on, oh, no, wait, tell me what's wrong with it, man. It's fresh, it's new. What's wrong with it? What's the problem? What's wrong with what? it? Because it matches? Because it matches, because it's new, because it's more than what you got? <laughs> this is Kosovo, oh, man. Kosovo. No, we went to like five different places. We went to five different places, no problem. But this guy no, has no, a problem no, no, with no, it. No, 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 no. Just say you're racist, man. Just say you're racist. Just say you're racist. <laughs> no, what's, what is the explanation? Why? number one, rules. What, what, is, what the is the rules? What is the rules? You need to be like you, you know? Like, yeah, I have to have what? titties. No, I have to no, have titties. Like this. What's wrong with this? It's attractive. Either way, either way, pants. man. This is a pants and a suit. Let's let them know. Let's let them know. Tell me the rules, man. No, nice. say the rules. What's the rules? What's the rules, man? No, I'm, not, I'm going away. I'm going away, but nobody wants to go to your racist ass bar, and I'm going to let everybody on the world know. I'm gonna let everybody in the world know that this place, Zanzibar, super racist. Hey, what's your name, man? What's your name? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But hey, this is what Kosovo is. Racist ass country, racist ass country. No, what's up? I didn't hear it. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Come on, hey, say, it, say it, go ahead, come on, come on, do it. I just came in to try to spend money at your business. I came in to spend money at your business. Because he's black, and now you're no, trying no, to fuck no, no, with no. him. Yep, oh. we got this on camera. Got it on camera. We're gonna let it know. We're gonna let the world know. Zan Z Bar, racist as hell. Named after a black place. We're gonna let the world know. Let the world know. Hey, so we just tried to go into this place in Kosovo in, at a place called Zanzibar, and uh, I went into many other bars, many other restaurants, and many other places. 
I've been having a great time in Kosovo, but there was one place that decided not to let me in for no other reason other than what I'm wearing. But I think what I'm wearing is actually my skin. So I'm gonna tell the whole world now, all the followers on my channel, Kosovo is a racist country. There is racism in Kosovo. And no matter what people tell you, even myself about how good of a time I've had here, there is white supremacy here, anti-blackness here. Acti, am I tripping about what happened? No, they're racist as fuck. And we asked them why, why you can't get in. And it took them fucking 10 minutes to answer. And then they said, because he's not wearing pants. I am wearing pants, by the way, very expensive pants and a very expensive outfit. But I'm just gonna let the world know. I tried to show good love to Kosovo. I tried to show a good side of the country. So as you saw from the video, I did not get aggressive with them. I did not get violent with them. I did not threaten them. I only said that I'm going to tell the truth about my experience here and expose them for what they are, which is racist. This is an experience I've spoken about on my channel multiple times. During my time in Tunisia, the same situation happened to me and many other black people who are living in Tunisia. You have to have a reservation or they don't let you in because you're not wearing dress shoes or you're not wearing slacks and that sort of thing. It's a common occurrence that happens in other parts of the Western world, such as my country in the United States and other parts of Western Europe. When you're a black person showing up at the door of a venue, they say no jeans, no J's, no baseball caps, no sunglasses, no clothes doesn't matter what you wear, they're gonna find a reason not to let you in. It's, a, it's such a nonsense excuse to, to just like give your clothing as an excuse to not let you in because right now people wear street style all the time, rich, poor, whatever. And uh, it's just so, it does not make sense. This is not a UN meeting. You don't need to wear a suit and tie. It's, so, it's a random club in Kosovo, so. There are a lot of stupid people in the world that will make apologetics for this sort of behavior by saying, well, this happened to me as a white person in some other place or other situation, but this does not happen as frequently to white people as it does to us. Seriously, there are other black people who have made many other videos, documented their experiences, wrote about this, and shared how this sort of behavior is very commonplace all across the world. The irony is, this is a place named Zanzi Bar, named after an island in Africa, full of black people. It's labeled as a jazz club. Last time I checked, jazz was an art form created by black Americans. When we came to this club the first time and we wanted to know what time it was open and how much it would cost to get in, the DJ was down there practicing in an empty dance floor playing Kaya's My Neck, My Back. Black ass music, but black people not welcome in jazz bar Zanzibar. I'll close with this. I came to Pristina with high hopes of sharing uh, the joys of being in this country, beautiful things about this country, and great people in this country. And instead, I got treated with racism right here in Pristina. I don't appreciate it, and I will let the world know about my experience. I don't care what anybody has to say who is not black talking about this, or anybody who's going to apologize for this sort of situation or this sort of behavior. It's unacceptable, it doesn't need to happen, and it's, em it's embarrassing it's happening in a Muslim country. It's embarrassing it's happening in Europe in 2023. And all these other sort of things this is unacceptable this is hateful this is bigoted this is discriminatory and this is a shame thumbs down zanzibar so update we got the name and number of the owner and we've been messaging him on whatsapp so i'll share the screenshots of my conversation with the guy on my community tab but the summary of our conversation was this i said to him it's ironic and embarrassing that a club named after black people that plays black music doesn't allow black people in. And he said that he is not racist and that they have a dress code. But when we ask what the dress code is, there is no answer. There is no answer as to what the dress code is. No answer. He invited me to come to the club tonight when they open. But as you've seen in the video, they got very aggressive with my wife and threatened to fight me and her. So I'm scared to actually go back, honestly, because there is a real possibility that they might become violent and attack us. This might be a setup. So I probably will not go. Also, another reason I won't go is that I shouldn't have to raise hell just to be treated like a normal human being. I shouldn't have to chase down the owner on WhatsApp and message him angrily just to be accepted, just to be let in when other people get let in with no problem. Now, in closing, I'll say this. Some people might watch this video and say this privileged American is bitching and bickering like a bitter baby mama. 
over something so trivial and silly, but it's not silly. I'm speaking up against racism and bias that exists in the world against all people. I know there will be more black people that come and travel and, and come to this region and they should be aware about what's what's present here and what they should expect. And also hopefully people that live here will know that they shouldn't treat people like this because we're just coming to spend money, have a good time and be regular human beings. It's wrong what happened to me. It's wrong if it happens to anybody else. And I hope that this message is very clear for everybody.